friends, welcome back to MTD CNC North America. I'm with my buddy Kyle and we are at KCS. Now, Kyle is a young guy that has really invested his time and resources into a very forward thinking style of machining and programming. And we have a truly exceptional story that we want to share with you today that has to do with this Matsura machine we're standing in front of right now. So Kyle, thank you for being on MTD. Absolutely. Yeah, um, well back in 2019 we were shopping for machine tools and uh, really it was an easy decision. You know, we, uh, with all of our five axis equipment here, we were, we were, we're typically pretty busy uh, keeping the machines running and we basically decided, you know, it was our time to uh, take some work off of those machines and, and start automating our process. So we, uh, you know, approached the Amazon uh, who distributes the, the Matsuras here and um, we decided to purchase this MX520 4PC, uh, the PC4 being the, uh, the pallet pool. Um, and, you know, after, uh, after a, you know, the seamless installation with uh, the service and support of the Amazon and Matsura, uh, we were able to uh, uh, pick up, hit the ground running, and we actually, the first, one of the first jobs we had on this machine uh, was a, a, a complicated valve body. Um, which we were able to uh, set up and then continue to run for 146 hours continuously. 146 hours, you mentioned seamless installation. Three days later from installation, you ran for 146 hours straight, no issues whatsoever. What's that equal, about seven days or so? Uh, six and a half, seven days, yeah. And you, I believe you have the part beside you. Could you showcase what, because it looks to me like not only did it need to run lights out, which is great for these pallets and the parts you have to run, and also the ability to just lay it on the floor and go, which is what we all want. We want to start making money right Absolutely. away, right? Yep. That part also looks like it needs some precision to it as well. Yeah, it's a pretty complicated, you know, multifaceted uh, five-axis part. I mean, ideal five-axis part. Um, you know, hydraulic ports from every orientation, plus uh, you know, scalloped out for weight reduction. And then when the last part comes off, we also know that one's going to be just like the first part. Uh, first and last, they're always the same. For those of you out there who don't know Kyle, uh, I consider him the top 40 under 40. So he's under 40 years old. This business has been around for 11 years. So do that math more or less. And this Matt Sura was the first one you went with. And then you had previously really high quality machines, making great parts. But what led you to make the decision? Because now you have two Matt Suras. Frankly, they're their history of, of providing the five axis machines. I, I don't know of anybody who's been doing it longer or with the factory built automation, the, uh, the Matsura here and its pallet pool provided the flexibility that we needed to have uh, a, you know, a part on a fixture, a, a vise on a pallet, uh, a three-sided tomb sewn and uh, uh, parts in the machine so the key here I think you're conveying to me is the flexibility of it. You Fle mentioned tombstones and work holding and this and that and being able to hop back and forth. I mean, this is all about flexibility. Yeah, flexibility and prototyping and also the ability to run for seven days continuously. I mean, you go from both ends of the spectrum. Um, it's valuable for prototype, you know, the high mix, low volume, because you inevitably always hit the roadblock on a job where, you know, customers put a job on hold or, you know, you. you, you you know, a lot of times you're piecemealing programs to a job just to keep it going and you know you run out of uh, programs to run well you got to get back to the computer sit down the reason we chose Matsura is because you know we're all five axis here and typically on your five axis machine you have a, a small work envelope so once we commit a job to a machine once we get through that setup we're not going to tear it down you know the, the the labor that was involved in getting to that point you know so which means that this machine might sit until we hear to get those answers back from the customer or uh, you know the programs get sorted out or the, the parts get through uh, the quality lab you know this machine is always running makes all the sense in the world to me and a shop like yours that's just constantly growing and doing better and running precision parts something like this is almost a necessity right not just yeah. a desire but a necessity and you recently purchased a MAM machine with this Matsura as well, with more pallets. So you talked about the flexibility of this. What were some of the decisions going behind? Okay, I have this one. It's maybe an entry level for Matsura more or less, but let's go into the bigger model with more 32 pallets, I believe. 
more tools in the tool holder and the tool change system. What were some of the decisions behind that moving in, into the MAM? Uh, efficiency. We needed a machine tool that would allow us a point of entry into a high volume market, you know, cost sensitive market. And, you know, the other, the, the conventional methods of doing so would be, you know, multiple machines, multiple guys, multiple shifts. And in this day and age, that's a, that's a, diff, that's a difficult model. And a company our size, I mean, multiple shifts is kind of out of the question. Um, we decided to go with the MAM series machine tool for, you know, its reliability and its accuracy, but mostly its efficiency. And knowing what we know now after listening to you talk about what you do and the reasons behind doing it and the growth that you've had in 11 years and the youth and knowing that your future is extremely bright, I know that there's people out there that want to get in touch with you, help you, help them make their parts, maybe discuss, you know, pick your brain a little bit, Absolutely. right? So if somebody wants to find you, what's your website, your socials, any of that kind of stuff that you could throw out to the audience who want to get in touch with you? If anybody would like to reach us, they can go through the website, uh, kcsams.com, as well as uh, Instagram or LinkedIn, uh, KCS Advanced Machining Services. Well, Kyle, you are the man. I really appreciate your time. KCS Advanced Machine Services, we definitely need more of you in this world. Guys, reach out and stay tuned for more incredible videos from KCS. Matt Sura, thank you all for watching and thank you for being awesome. Thank you very much, Tony. You're the man. Yeah.